No. I hate this fucking film. Okay, so. Fuck's sake. It's nice to know that I'm not completely alone. We have this scene dedicated almost entirely to pissing me off. Isn't he cute? Don't you just ovulate at the sight of him? Following me. Are they? Are you fucking kidding me with this? Are they? Just watch. Okay, so first of all, how did she know to that car? Why did she follow that car? Second, why did she know how to get that car? It's just so fucking. Fuck it! Do you want me to turn up dead? Yeah? I mean, there's no possible way that the hoodie man is Randy. can't possibly get any stupider than Randy is the hoodie man, right? Right? But like, why? Why? Jesus fucking Christ, this fucking film is such horse- Gets through to Jensen Swain, who turns out to be Renee's brother. Or should I say- Veronica? <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Oh my God, so then she looks up Renee's real name alongside that mysterious Jack Sawyer guy that she's meant to be married to, and oh my god, it's Randy! What a thrilling last minute escape from Araya, where she manages to climb out of the window in the time it takes for Randy to kick down the door. I mean, sure, it's a little bit unbelievable that she'd be able to do that in that short amount of time, but at least it's not stupider than that, right? 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 Let's dissect that, shall we? It's just so fucking- Right, so, it has been a while, may as well re-watch it and try and remind myself of how awful this film is. So, lean back, relax, ow, and let's remind ourselves of how good this film is. My favourite movie snack with me? Oh, sorry, were you going to chat shit because I eat carrot sticks while I'm, eat, while I'm watching films? Uh, well, guess what? This gives me amazing eyesight for the rest of my life. Uh, what does your popcorn get you? Uh, various diseases? Yeah, nice try, idiot. So, come on. Let's watch the film. That third different... Are you taking the pit? Alright. So... Right, so he texted at around about half past seven, saying that he was 20 minutes away. She did some axing, then it was the whole thing of getting attacked by Randy. But then, so was he outside the whole time? Was it a prank? How much did he hit? Why was he just sitting there without his lights on, ready to follow... So then we see something incredibly rare for this film, and logic is used when Mariah calls the sheriff. Sheriff! Meanwhile, Jensen, for some reason, is very calm when he's following the man that he thinks might murder his sister. Oh shit. Chop me fucking. Chop me fucking. I have his address. Identify him. Oh no, she's got jam on her lip. So Jensen manages to follow Randy to his secluded cabin in the woods without him noticing, going as far to park 20 feet away from him without being noticed. Because ah, uh, 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 Hope you like Chinese food. You got Chinese. Use the plates in the kitchen. You got Chinese food. You got Chinese food. So Renee's brother watched him go in and get Chinese food not confronting him. Actually, no, to be fair, he could have been following her because he was concerned about... No, but the thing... Oh, oh, fuck, oh, just carry on, just carry on, just carry on. So then Renee heads into the kitchen where she finds her missing phone. There you are. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Wait, what? 
So he... Uh, so he took away her phone and then put it somewhere she could easily find instead of taking it with him. Because he couldn't have put it there because he's just gone straight to the shower. Ugh. Can I help you? Veronica? No, 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 no. Get out of here! No, no, please. Oh my god, get away, Randy! Please don't. Oh my god. Your name is Veronica Swain. You're my sister. You're the one. You're the one who's been following me. You're the one who's been following You're the. No. I thought you remembered. What was the entire point of the. What was the entire point of the flashback sequence? Because the previous flashback sequence had her remembering being brought into the dungeon by someone. And it was her remembering that the dungeon exists. So does she just think it's a massive coincidence that Randy has the place that she was trapped in? Like, ab none... What? Then why was she so calm when he came... Oh, oh, I just, oh why? I shouldn't have come back to it. I shouldn't have fucking come back to it. So then Jensen comes in with the information that he's her brother and that the person that she thinks is Randy is actually her husband. He comes with a photograph of them together and she still doesn't believe it. She still thinks that he is the man that was following her, even though... Oh my god! His name is Jack. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh You're fucking alone. Hey. Who are you? You know exactly who I am. He says he's my brother. He's not. That's your ex-husband. I, I didn't want to tell you. I, I didn't want to upset you. I went to see Mariah tonight, and she, and she found out the truth. Look, he's, he's dangerous. Don't believe him. Don't trust him, Renee. <laughs> Put the gun down. I forgot about that. Put the gun down. Please come with me. No, get away. Please. Then we have a classic standoff no. situation, and I gave Listen. the advice that I always give. No. Shoot him in the knee. Oh, shit! He actually did shoot. So they have a little bit of a fuffle, and then somehow Randy manages to shoot Jensen in the thigh? A couple of things to note here. Main thing being that Randy has an entry wound for the bullet, but doesn't have an exit wound in the back. So that means that he still has a bullet inside of him. So keep that in mind. So be sure to remember that for the rest of this film, that he has a bullet inside of him. Come on, Jensen. You know how this is gonna end. Follow them, Renee! Then Randy has some fun intimidating Jensen for no real reason. Renee could be right behind you. Why is Renee not following you? you know, I can hear then we have our climax with just, oh, oh, perfect dialogue. Oh, where's the Oscar? I don't understand what goes to that sick head of yours, but my sister is not some fairy tale princess you just hide away from the world. Done by choice. And what if she doesn't follow your rules? And there are Oh, now you follow. Now you follow. I mess with somebody else's lives. Bit of a dick. Would you like that? Yes. What a surprise. He lied about the gun. So Renee jumps in to try and say to Randy, oh, you don't have to take it into your own hands. You can take him to the police. But no, obviously she didn't learn from earlier with the PI when he let him escape. He not only let him escape, he let him just go. He, he, he forced him into the car. Oh my lord. Move, Renee, move, move. He's lying, move. <laughs> oh, Renee, no! You lost the mysterious man that you think was following you, but is actually your brother. No, 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 no. If we do that, we both get in trouble. No. <laughs> Go inside and grab me a sheet. <laughs> no! You need to trust me. So Renee goes back to get a sheet from the cabin, but then gets delayed because she wants to look at some photos. So she's now, now looking at the photographs. So what was she doing in that like 25 second stretch where the two guys went off, Randy had his evil monologue, 
and then she came to witness the shooting. So she looks through the photographs and finally, finally, actually has a flashback and remembers who she is, even though she had one before that was just... Oh. What? 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 What am I supposed to feel watching this? Is this meant to be the big triumphant moment? Because isn't the previous thing the big triumphant moment? Uh, fucking... So even though she knows everything now, she decides to help out with the body. Because, you know... What's a little homicide between a loving couple? So Mariah and the police officer arrive at the fake address because obviously it's fake. Oh, Randy's not that stupid. Do you have any other idea where she might be? Yes. You okay? So then Randy and Renee are off to hide the body somewhere I hope more secluded than the secluded forest that he was followed into. Someone... And we get this like astonishing that. bit of screenwriting. Was I hated that much? Now this. He was troubled. This is a smart film. Why didn't I see that when I married him? Maybe He's talking to him love is blind. as if it isn't him. So they get to where they're going to hide the body, and it's as clever of a choice as you think it would be. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that worked so fucking fantastically last time. Oh, yeah, no. Ready. What are you going to do with his body? That's a good idea. Put the body... Put the body on the front of the boat, where everyone can see. The body that I would assume still has a little bit of blood in it. Why, why, why do you care? Why do you care? Why do you care? I think it's a bad idea, Jack. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? She would not, she would not call him Jack. She would not call him Jack. She would still call him Randy. You barely, oh. That's the stupidest way to reveal it. That is the stupidest fucking way to reveal it. For no one even near these docks. There's no security. That's fine. Good docks. Good docks. Why are you running into the... Oh my god. Oh shit. He threw her into a nice soft bed. You remember what happens when you fight back? Where did those come from? Please. 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 You never loved me. Those... The chain is over her like that. She's got it above her head and it's over her like that. It's not tied to there. She can easily move. She can easily move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to live a life outside of it? Forgot that fucking bird's name, Renee. I'm sorry, what? What did she just do to those handcuffs? What did she just do to those handcuffs? What did she just do to those handcuffs? No, 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 no. I'm not letting that go. I'm not letting that go. What did she just do to those handcuffs? Okay, first of all, that one's already done. That one is already off somehow. 
Then the other one, she's grasping like that. She's pulling them together. Also, the marks on her arms already. She already has marks on her arms. Oh. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You just have to... And then you can take handcuffs off. How have I been so dumb? Every time that I've been handcuffed, all I had to do was push it closer to my fucking wrist and then pull. Obviously. Obviously. Oh, I'm a fucking imbecile. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That is, oh, that's why. That is why. That is why all the times I've been arrested, I've just not. <laughs> she has a phone. Since when? So when the two guys, when they went off, she wasn't calling the police with the phone that she has, that has signal, and is fully capable of making that call. She didn't call the police at that point. She hasn't called the police at any point since, which, okay, is understandable. Randy's been there the whole time. Except no, no, he hasn't, because she was remembering that he's the hoodie guy. She finally had her actual epiphany when he wasn't there, when she was going to get the sheet for the body. So that means there was absolutely nothing stopping her from calling the police at that point. Instead, she decides to help out with covering up the murder of her brother because she's now remembered that it's her brother. So she goes along with him. Oh my, oh. She has a phone. She has a phone, of course. And where was that stored, by the way? In her skirt? Somewhere? Renee? Oh my god, the Brene? Help me. Maria? Her name's Mariah. Isn't it? It's Mariah. Okay, so this bit makes absolutely no Renee? sense. So what she does is she calls, oh god, says, Help me. But then I guess hangs up. Because immediately following this, she smashes open the glass. But she didn't need to escape because she was on the phone with Mariah. She could have told her where they are and what the situation is. You're free, just find something to protect yourself if he comes back in. You have nowhere to run, what are you doing? So then Renee is walking on the right side of the boat towards the front. And then we see There's Randy no doing the same thing. Here, He's on the right side walking to the front. Yeah, yeah. But then Renee teleports. She teleports onto the flybridge. Because there, look at the top of the screen, that's the steering wheel that Randy was using earlier. So then Renee opens this thing and it's got a flare gun in it, so she starts constructing it while Randy comes back from the front because obviously he got to the front, realised that she wasn't there and then came back. But then he teleports onto the flybridge along with her. And it's very clearly the flybridge because you can see the blue canopy in the background and that's only ever been there. Oh. I don't want to do this. Give me the gun. Don't come any closer. No! <laughs> What were, the, what were the physics of that? 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 Did he just teleport forwards? Did he just teleport forwards? Is that what happened? Don't come any closer! No! No, 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 okay, no, she's... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so, so, so they fight over the flare gun, she pushes him back, punches him in the face, and then tries to escape by jumping over the cockpit. But then when he grabs her and pulls her down, they're on the front! Yeah. They're on the front now! Oh, yeah. What?! And now, within a split second, within a split yeah. second, he's shoving her into the back. And Randy then hears her phone going off and decides to go and answer it for literally no reason. There is no reason for him to do that. He has not finished his job here. She is in a sack, Randy. yes, but we've seen before that she can get out of a sack. That's okay. You don't have to say anything. The police know exactly where you are. We are coming for you and there is no way out. So let Renee go. We're coming for you. There is no way out. Let her go. We are giving you no options to escape. Now please give us the hostage. That's not how it works. He's going to kill her now. 
Even if he wasn't going to kill her, he is going to kill her now. So Randy hangs up, obviously, and then heads up to finish off Renee. But then... It's over now. No. 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 No, I won't... That's not... You can't have made this. You can't have written that down. This can't be intentional. This can't be the designed product of people. This must... This can't be real. I... Ah. Oh. It can't be real. It can't be real. This has to be some kind of hoax. Like, it's an actual film that an AI has edited to be as stupid as possible. Ah, oh. still got a minute left. Every. Oh, I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. What the fuck? Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? What? What? <laughs> so he is hanging off of the boat now, somehow, and he's able to pull up enough to grab her leg and trip her over, but not to get back. No! Oh. Veronica! Veronica's dead! My name is Renee! That isn't a fucking. Mother. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I need to pick up my glasses because I throw them onto the bed. That's not a cool ending. Oh my god! You kicked him into the water. That's not done. If you're trying to pretend that that's done, then I'm going to fucking scream. That's not done. You haven't finished your job. He is not out of commission. You survived in that water when you were in a fucking sack. He is a fully a- And you had a head wound at the- he is a fully able-bodied man who was able to pull himself up enough to grab your arm. You kicked him in the face once and he's fallen into the water. That's not done. He isn't dead. He isn't even incapacitated. You, you've not finished your job, Renee. You've not finished your job. He is fine. He's completely fine. He's wet, but he's fine. Oh, another police. Good, 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 good. Oh, you're using the flare. That is the fakest flare. You had a real flare. You had a real flare. Why don't you use the real flare? How does she know what the flare means? How does she know what the flare means? How does she know what the flare She's looking up at the flare like that's... Did they have... A conversation at some point talking about the importance of flares did i miss that did i miss that was that something that happened in the bar scene that i missed out on oh. just hit she's fucked now that that that's the real arc that is the real arc she's able to cry now She's able to cry real tears. I'm feeling something now. I'm feeling something now. <laughs> and 
that's the end. I 